Hello and welcome. Occidental's Young Initiative on the Global Political Economy was pleased to host Professor Kelly Zorodko from William & Mary's Justice Lab. What follows are highlights from Professor Zorodko's talk in which she shared her cutting edge research on transitional justice and truth commissions and argued for the urgent relevance of truth commissions to creating more just, peaceful societies in states of all sorts, including in established democracies. Enjoy Professor Zorodko's talk. Today, I'll be talking about one type of quasi-judicial body called a truth commission. So in terms of transitional justice, transitional justice, or TJ, as I like to call it. So uh, it is a set of judicial and non-judicial measures to address human rights. Typically, TJ is provided by the state, um, that is national governments. They are the ones who are duty born under international law to provide transitional justice um, as a response to human rights abuses. And TJ has four pillars, truth, justice, reparations, and guarantees of non-recurrence. These were developed between the Second World War and the mid to late 1990s um, as the international community uh, felt a, an urgent need to address violence between states, interstate um, conflict. And so you have the Nuremberg and the Tokyo tribunals, which were um, led primarily by the winners of the war, um, which sought to bring justice for a range of atrocity crimes during the Second World War. Now, as we went on into the Cold War, uh, internal armed conflicts emerged all around the globe there were a different set of remedies, an additional set of remedies that were introduced to address these harms. And so if you brought a case um, to the Inter-American Court, you were entitled to receive from the state knowledge of what happened to your um, family member. Reparations, um, typically in the form of uh, monetary compensation and institutional reforms. But as I have underlined and bolded um, and italicized, these were meant to be individual remedies. However, with um, what we call a justice boon um, in the 90s with the development of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, the development of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and its ratification, um, truth commissions um, like those we saw in South Africa and other places, Transitional justice, these four pillars were expanded to be a comprehensive framework for states as a whole that were exiting periods of um, repression, whether that was internal armed conflict um, between a government and armed opposition, or if it was a period of just government abuses against the civilian population, or even transitions from autocracy to um, democracy. Truth commissions are temporary bodies authorized by the government to investigate political violence over a period of time and to establish a pattern of violence while engaging with the affected population. And so these um, fit under that first pillar of truth because they are historical increase into political violence. They are intended to establish an authoritative account on the past um, and uh, to provide a framework for governments to address past harm and to safeguard against future harm, right? You can't go forward if you don't address what's behind you. But one thing that's quite significant about these bodies is that they are uniquely positioned among transitional justice institutions to actually support further transitional justice. And so a truth commission provides truth um, to families, to communities, so that there is knowledge of what happened in the past. But they also issue recommendations about reparations, about trials, about a range of institutional reforms. And so they can actually set up other transitional justice um, mechanisms on an evidence-based path. Why do some governments, but not others, adopt transitional justice institutions, design them to succeed, and follow up on them with particular policies, right? So basically, why TJ? These bodies have proliferated over the globe since um, the Second World War, like I said, and truth commissions in particular. Um, there have been um, 84 commissions in 63 countries um, from 1970 to 2018, and so we really should be investigating them um, in greater detail. And um, finally, I'm working with uh, two of my um, former uh, students at USC on a project. We begin by studying uh, truth commissions in Canada and in the United States, 
what some might consider unlikely candidates for transitional justice because they have not had your standard period of repression, although definitely happy to um, have an internal critique of that. But they are non-ideal typical cases for transitional justice. And so we're curious about why they emerge, when they do, what they're able to uncover, and what um, important outcomes they lead to.